Hello and welcome back to uh, Pickmarker Controller Construction and Programming. Um, in this uh, tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at a demo. I finally got um, a breadboard put together with a RS-232 transceiver chip and some other deals to uh, demonstrate both the uh, RS-232 communication as well as demonstrate the bootloader. The first thing we'll do is we'll demonstrate the bootloader and then I'll, I'll demonstrate using a terminaling application to uh, show you the how to use the transceiver module and actually print stuff uh, from the chip to the PC. Um, right now we're going to look at the, uh, very quickly in this uh, short video, we're going to look at the uh, kind of diagram and everything and uh, kind of give you a, a basis of what we got hooked up here and then I'll, uh, then the next video will be the actual uh, video of it actually functioning. So. Let's jump right in. Let's look at it. Um, I also made some code modifications, so I'll go through that quickly. Um, all I did from our last video in Lesson 8 is um, I just added a couple LEDs. So two 470 ohm, K, uh, 470 ohm resistors and then two just small LEDs. One, one's red and one's yellow, which again uh, we'll see in the next video. We've got our RS-232 chip, um, uh, RS-232 plug, and then our, our A86 chip and we've got the memclear tied in and all that and that's going to be all put together on a breadboard. Um, what I'm going to look at is on the bootloader page I actually noticed this from the last video um, I showed how to set the config registers yourself um, I noticed that in this newer version that version 197 that I showed you in the last video of the tiny bootloader you can actually this will actually work right out of the box um, you can leave these two lines this one here and this one here you can leave these two uncommented. Um, all you have to do is just take out, remember that dot dot slash, take that out of here, and then just compile it. And uh, it'll generate the hex file, and you're good to go. So um, I just wanted to bring that up and mention that to you that actually this one does work out of the box. There's no problems with the mem clear uh, register. I also wanted to check and um, show you, I kind of modified the LED, LED on uh, sample program that I was going to do, I actually add, I actually moved the LEDs around just because I, uh, uh, just the way the board set up, I, it was just easier to mount them on, let's see, pin C4 and C5, whereas I think it was 0 and 1, so I just made that little change. So those the only two things that have changed uh, since the last one is I went ahead and just used the assemble, assembly language to generate the bootloader um, just right out of the box, and then I changed these from uh, pin 0 and 1 to pin 4 and 5 for the for the other one. So without any further ado, I'm going to end this video now um, with those changes having said and we will basically uh, the next video will pick up on the actual construction actually the operation of it and how it works. So thank you very much.